Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. Today I am um, going to open up this box that I received from Melissa from Sky Dyed Inks. It's her Instagram account. Um, I don't think she has a YouTube channel, but I recently created my own Instagram account and you can follow me at Leanne Likes. Um, and so I reached out to her and asked if she was interested in swapping inks. Uh, you should definitely check her out because uh, she does a wonderful job swatching um, and testing out all these inks. And so I've been able to figure out what sorts of inks work well, which ones I prefer, which ones I don't prefer. So please check her out. So thank you so much, Melissa from Sky Dyed Ink. Let's take a look here. My pen or my, my scissors. So anyway, oh my goodness. Okay, first of all, just opening it, I got giddy. Melissa, uh, this is a lot of inks. I can't wait. Okay. Oh my word. Oh my word. So she gave me not just a few, but a few bags. Oh my word. What? Melissa, what is all this? Oh my goodness. This is going to be an ink swap frenzy today. I'm seeing Krishna inks. Oh my goodness. First of all, Krishna inks are um, a brand from India that I have yet to try. I have a viewer who left a comment requesting like, hey, could you also swatch some inks from India? Um, and I said, sure. And I look online and they're just hard to find. So just doing a quick glance, I'm seeing that there are several Krishna inks. So Melissa, thank you so much. I don't have any Krishna. Actually, I just did buy one Krishna ink uh, because of Casey, uh, Cassia, Cassia Flora. Um, so I might have to do a separate Krishna inks swatch. Oh my goodness, Melissa, this is above and beyond. I, I think I only sent her four or five inks and look what I, what I got here. This is amazing. Um, this is a Midori uh, set of sticky notes. Perfect for the winter months here. There is like, uh, like paper cutouts. Uh, there's a tree, paper cutout of a bear sitting. And then there's also uh, two paper cutouts of trees here. But this is just perfect for the winter season. This white area looks like it's blanketed with snow. Perfect. Oh my goodness, Melissa. Um, so this is a notepad and it looks like it's perforated right down the middle. So the first, the top half is like some boxed items to write down your to-do list your shopping list, whatever it might be, your wish list. And then it folds and it's perforated here and you can detach it to, oh, there you go. And it has a blank sheet here. This is very cute, beautiful. And it's got some beautiful floral plat patterns and there's a crane. I don't know if you could see that, but there are cranes on this sheet set here notepad set wow wow and Melissa sent along some of her own branded gear what is this this is her sky dyed ink pin that's very cute oh my goodness and here's another pin aren't these cute Melissa now I'm wondering did you draw these these little icons I got some more washi tape. Beautiful. Oh, this looks like a, like a card card case or a card wallet from Portland Leather Goods. This will be great for um, when I'm just going on a short trip and I only want to carry a couple of my like a cards, like my ID and a credit card, maybe just like a little. A little just like a little cash what do you call it all right I'm just kind of um, out of words today <laughs> oh and this is chapstick 
Wow, now I, I wouldn't have ever expected lip balm in an ink swap box, but this is Disney Lip Balm in Happy Citrus Basin, and the character is Goofy. That's delightful. You know what? I think I might give this a try right now because I love lip chapstick. Just want to give this a try. Hmm. It's like a creamsicle. Thank you, Melissa. Now I'm wondering, do you, you must be a big Disney fan. I'm curious to know where you got this. I've got more stickers. Very cute. Some are holographic and others are more like a matte finish. Oh. So this is an Esther book holder, an Esther Brook Esther book holder. And it says that it's a novel accessory to hold your page when journaling. Above and beyond Melissa, thank you. So I have my journal here, my ink journal, and I have this Penco clip here, but I'm going to give this a try. Oh, very lovely. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you, Melissa. And why don't we add a couple of stickers here? It looks pretty. It's almost like, uh, it looks like a snowflake. Some, some of these brands I've never tried. Um, I've, I've tried Vinta, but this might be like my third. But look at this shimmer. I don't know if you could see this, but this is Vinta the Maiden. Oh, that's pretty. So it looks like it's like a rose gold with gold shimmer in there. This is Inkibara Pastel Violet, and this is a new ink, a uh, new brand, ink brand. So that'll be... Uh, great to try out. Van Diemen's Snowy Mountain Sunset. And I don't know if I've tried a Van Diemen's ink. I don't think I have. And looking here, it's got some pastel greens, like a mint green with pink in there too. And there's a lot of shimmer in here. This is Erban's Violet Imperial. This is a purple ink with gold shimmer. Now, um, some of you may know and some of you may not know, I am a University of Washington alum and our colors are purple and gold. So I think I'll definitely have to swatch this today. Uh, and then this is Wayf oh, Wearing a Wayfarer. And this is the ink that um, Melissa had written, had used to write in that note. And so this is like a teal turquoise and there's some shimmer in here too. It looks like purple, purple shimmer. And I didn't see that in the letter that she had written. Um, gosh, now there are so many more inks here. Let's take a look. I'll just go through all of them and then I'll pick like the six inks that I will swatch today. Wow, Melissa, this is amazing. So we've got, let me get all the Krishnas. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for that uh, one viewer of mine who requested uh, Krishna inks to be swatched. And now I have four, is there more? Five. Six. Oh my goodness, I have six Krishna inks. So to that viewer who requested um, Krishna or inks from India, I have six that I'm going to swatch. So maybe I'll do that today because there's perfect, there's a, there's an even amount, exactly the six that I was uh, wanting to, um, yeah, I just wanted to swatch six because I think visually it would look best to have three on each page. Okay, why don't we take a look at the Krishna inks here? So we have six Marvelous Krishna inks. Let's 
see if you could see that. This is Krishna Sandor or Sindor Golden Summer Got Green Mountain Breeze Sailor's Blue and Cassia 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 Flora. So for one, I have this ink testing book by Color Coloring Color Ring. Um, it is printed, designed, it's designed by the well-appointed desk. Actually looking at that, I wonder, I think they have a YouTube channel and I follow them. I wonder if it, it must be the same company. So, um, you know, I've seen people use it and I just wasn't sure. Uh, so I print, I got this because, you know, as you know, I swatch a lot of my inks in this notebook. But what is lovely now is that it would be great to be able to have ink swatches on separate cards so that I can start to really do side-by-side -side comparisons. So not only am I going to do ink swatches here in my Hobonichi A5 plain notebook, but I'm also going to start swatching inks on these cards here. Um, also, uh, I have a glass dip pen. This is from Kemi's Labo, and this is in the, it's like a broad nib or a broad line thickness. Um, it, I don't know if you could see it here, but it looks like it was sand blasted or engraved, and it says Kemi's Labo handmade glass pen. And I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting right now where I got this, but I'll provide um, a link uh, or I'll let, I'll let you know in the description box below. So I have this new glass dip pen that I'm going to try. Let's see here. So there lo looks like Cassia Flora is kind of like a spring green color. Mountain Breeze is a bright fuchsia purpley color. Uh, Sailor's Blue is blue, almost looks like Bay State Blue. Uh, Krishna Golden Summer Blue, okay, that's a blue as well. And then there's Sindor, and Sindor is a red. So where should we begin? You know, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm overthinking things right now. So I'm just gonna shake it up, shake it up, and I'm just going to randomly Place it in this holder and we'll do it in the order that I randomly place them. So first up we have Krishna Sailor's Blue. Oh, where is my eyedropper? I need to get my eyedropper. Oh wow, that's so saturated. It's gorgeous. So now I've been in this fountain pen hobby since May, or since April really, of 2022. And I remember my first impressions of blue inks, in particular like uh, Pilot Hiroshizuku Iro Kompeki, Base Date, Noodler's Base Date Blue, and I thought, oh, I don't really like blues. But, um, as I'm, you know, getting myself acquainted with fountain pen inks and having them inked up in various pens, I'm finding that I really like saturated inks. Um, and I've yet to return to Compeki, um, but I, I bet you that when I return to it, I'm really going to enjoy it. Even though when I started out, I think it was in my beginner's fountain pen ink collection, I said that you know, I don't know what's the deal with Compeki. Everyone loves it, and maybe I'm just not a big fan of it. But um, I don't know. I think that as I continue to continue in my fountain pen hobby, I'm probably going to like uh, my saturated blues. But looking at this blue ink already, um, it's gorgeous. It's it's like I would say it's like a more saturated version of Sailor's multi shading inks. Uh, it's got the saturated blue, but then um, as it's drying, it's got some purple. Uh, it could be like the purple sheening, but that's very, very pretty. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if this, because of this thick handle here, if it'll go in all the way. Oh, it can. Nothing to worry about. Except that I'm just going to wipe it, wipe off the excess ink that's on the grip section there. Okay. 
this is. I really love how this glass dip pen produces a very thick line. It's very pretty. There we go. That's Krishna Sailor's Blue. Now, next ink. We've got Krishna Golden Summer Blue. Oh, just looking at this, it looks like uh, it's got a little bit more purple. It's got some purple in this ink. Wow, I think Krishna inks are meant to be very, are, they're, they're known to be saturated, very saturated inks. Okay. Now this ink seems a little bit dry. Dry as in um, almost a little viscous, a little bit more viscous. Maybe it dried out, you know, kind of dried a little bit, dried out. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe I just added way too much ink. Because I, I typically apply two drops, but um, I applied three drops here. With this glass nib, uh, it certainly looks black, almost like a... It's, it's even not even a blue black, it's like just almost a black with a tinge of purple in there. Uh, yeah, but this, this ink in particular seems like it's a lot more viscous. Um, and I'm not quite sure why. Now this next ink is Sindor. Now just by looking at the ink drops, it looks less saturated than the blues. Oh, it's a really pretty fiery red orange, an orange red. Okay, next up we have Krishna Cassia Flora. Now this was one of the inks that I tried um, at the Seattle Pelican Hubs meetup. And uh, I actually purchased a, a bottle of this and I got it from Pen Realm. And I've yet to swatch this ink. So I'm really glad to be trying it here. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like this lime yellow or mustard yellow with a little bit of green in there so pretty so when I'm writing it it's got more of like a muddy green um, but I think the drama happens when the ink is dry so let's see here now I want you to see this this is just the what I had picked up from this Kleenex this clean Kleenex but um, look how electric, how vibrant this Cassia Flora is. There's like hints of orange. Um, it's like this electric neon green or yellow with like electric uh, spots of orange here. It's very dynamic. Okay, now we have Krishna Mountain Breeze. And I believe Melissa said that that's one of her favorite colors as far as the uh, Krishna inks go, I believe. I believe that was the case. There we go. Oh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fuchsia purple color. Look at that. Mountain breeze looks so pretty next to Cassia Flora. Okay. And then our final color is Got got green. Ooh, it's a very pretty olive green. There we go. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of swatching on these coloring cards here. I'm not putting as much pressure as I normally do on this Tomoe River paper. I'm letting the cup just lightly touch the surface and then give it a swirl. But I'm not being as hard on this card as I am on the Hobonichi notebook here. So I'm applying lighter pressure and it's giving such a beautiful swatch here. And look at that. Now this has got green. 
Gosh, I wish I had this ink when I was doing my ink comparisons of olive greens. It's this mid-range olive green that is darker than the J. Urban's Vert Olive, but not as dark as, let's say, a Diamine Safari or a Sailor Rikucha. Um, it just has that nice balance of not being too light or dark. And I just have to say that this ink shades beautifully. So I applied a heat gun to the inks to let them dry and I am excited, just excited about these inks. Golden Summer Blue, I'm a little confused by because like I had mentioned, it felt a little bit more thick in texture, um, more viscous. And I am imagining maybe because it's such a sheener of an ink, uh, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but Golden Summer Blue is just nothing but sheen. I don't see, I don't see any non-sheening areas. Um, Sailor's Blue, it sheens in the more saturated parts of the ink, and that's really pretty, and it's sheening. Uh, Krishna Sindoor, I don't notice much sheening at all, um, but the shading is really fun. Uh, Cassia Flora, uh, there's no sheening, but you could see the multi multi-shading properties of this ink. There is like a like a lime green or even like a, a light olive green. And then it's got like these warm tones, like the red and orange in here. Um, and in the writing sample, it's just so cool. I'm loving that one. Uh, Krishna Mountain Breeze is also lovely. It's kind of a bluish purple and um, it's just saturated. It's, it's beautiful. Um, not much sheening either. And then there's got green that shades beautifully. There's no sheening. There is definitely some shading, uh, but just look at that little ink swatch as well. Um, it, the side here, I just had a, just a few mishaps. There were some splats here and then I tilted the notebook too much as the got green was drying. So I have a little bit of a ink splat there as well. Um, I'm also just loving how uniform this little drawing is here. But anyway, if I were to call out some favorites, for sure, Cassia Flora has to be my top favorite. Um, gosh, I think all of them are great. The The sheening ink, I'm not quite so sure uh, just because it was so viscous and I don't know if it's just the sample or um, if it was a one-off or if it's just a little bit more viscous because of how much sheen there is in this ink. Um, but I am loving how saturated these inks are. The Cassia Flora, I mean, I think I am enjoying all of them. Golden Summer, not so much, but my absolute favorite has to be Cassia Flora. Um, and thankfully I got a bottle of this. I have, I had, I hadn't yet swatched it. And I have to say that, um, I am very happy that I have this ink. So there you have it. Um, oh, actually, why don't I show you my, my Cull O-Ring ink swatches too. Okay, so this is Krishna, this is Sailor's Blue. You could see the, the purple red sheening. It's two of those. And then Golden Summer Blue, nothing but sheen. It's got a little purple in there. This is Sindor, a really pretty, like orangish red. Krishna Mountain Breeze. Got green, a lovely olive green. And then Cassia Flora, which is my favorite from today's ink swatching. So uh, like I had mentioned, this is only six out of, I haven't even counted out of this many, this many inks. So I'm definitely going to be swatching these as well. Melissa, thank you so much for swapping inks with me. This was really fun. I, I loved uh, connecting with you um, and just being able to, uh, I don't know, just to receive such lovely inks and all of these extra goodies is just such a delight. Where is, uh, yeah, so I, I will definitely add this to my bag uh, 
it might replace my credit card holder that I have right now because I, I have a really thin, minimal car credit card holder uh, that I think uh, this would be just like a great alternative. So I'll definitely use this. Um, the washi tapes and uh, these notepads, I absolutely love. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Melissa from Sky Dyed Ink. Uh, please check her out on Instagram. Happy holidays and happy new year. Bye.